Okay, um, in the last video, we had proven that this integral here is equal to the square root of pi divided by 2. What we've been striving to do, though, is to evaluate this integral. Um, we have x to the minus 1 half times e to the minus x dx. Here we work with the integral e to the minus x squared dx. And we're going to get in this one because this is the gamma function of 1 half. Um, let's look at this though here. And we're going to try a substitution now and see if we can solve it with a substitution based upon what we know about this integral here. So we come along and say, well, let x Let that be equal to um, u squared. If we do it like that, then x to the minus one half, if I raise this side to the minus one half, then I raise this side to the minus one half, that's u to the minus one. Um, dx. That will be equal to 2 times u du. And if x goes from 0 to infinity, so is u. So let's see, we have this integral here. Of x to the minus 1 half e to the minus x dx that's going to equal this integral now where x to the minus one half that's u to the minus one and then e to the minus x that would be e to the minus u squared and dx that's equal to 2 times u du take the 2 to the outside and we have u du or this way and u goes from 0 to infinity x goes from 0 to infinity u will go from 0 to infinity if x is 0, u is 0. If x is infinity, u is infinity. So this is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus u squared du. But we know what this is. Come up here, same integral. So this then equals two times the square root of pi over two. That's what this integral is. But that equals the square root of pi. So what we've shown then is this integral right here equals the square root of pi. So finally, we can declare that the gamma function of one half, which by definition would be this integral, x to the minus one half, e to the minus x dx equals the square root of pi. So it was kind of a long road in getting there. First, in the last video, we had to work with this integral. 
and in order to get this expression, we had to consider the square of that integral. We had to transform it into polar coordinates. Finally, we could, have, could solve the square of the integral. And then we took the square root of that to get this integral. And once we have this integral, we could work with this one by using this rather tricky substitution here. And finally, declare that the gamma function of 1 half is equal to the square root of pi. So it took a while, but there it is. Um, what we're going to do now is use our knowledge of gamma functions to solve various types of integral problems that before we simply didn't have the means to, uh, to try to approach.